What's up, everybody? It's Adam Richmond, and you are listening to Three Point Conversion because you clearly have excellent taste. I am. We'll start with Davide. Uh, I'm really extremely happy to be here. Obviously, I grew up uh, 35 minutes south of here in Akron. So to be here for an also weekend, my family and friends just enjoying these last few days has been a it's been a pleasure. Um, my high school best friends and the guys that I played with throughout my whole life is uh, is out there right now with their families. So you know, just paying forward to, to the next generation. Um, you know, I remember '97. When the uh, last All Star game was here, I think I was 12 years old at that point in time, and me and my friends wishing, you know, we could come up here to Cleveland and see the likes of Mike and and all those guys that was in that, you know, All Star uh, weekend. I remember seeing Kobe his rookie year win the dunk contest uh, during the East Bay um, uh, dunk to win it, and uh, just wishing that uh, you know we could come up here and see any one of those guys, you know, as a youngster. So to be here. Uh, 25 years later, it's a, it's a remarkable thing. It's pretty cool. Yes. I'm sorry, where are you? Third row. Okay, thank you. Y'all have mics? I can barely hear y'all. I'm sorry. Yep. Oh, my, my, my guys. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, well, I'm not speaking to them almost every day. You know, we have that, that connection and that friendship that's been going on since we were nine years old. So, um, like I said, they're here. Willie Sheehan, Drew Romeo, Frankie, Brandon, we're all, all of us are all here this weekend. Um, and this is the first time we've all spent the all-star weekend together. So it makes it even more special. Um, I have no idea. Um, I think I've taken different approaches just depending on how my body was feeling or um, how the season was going at that point in time. You know, if I needed more rest, then, you know, I'm not trying to like burn out during an all star game, but I'm also at the same time want to get a fans a little bit something because this is uh, what it's all about. But just being smart about it, obviously. Um, I've been a part of quite a few of these games, so I definitely want to be smart about, you know, my minutes and things that I play. It's the only it's the only time and only game throughout the season where I'm okay talking about my minutes. <laughs> no, it hasn't. Um Guys are, we're, we're, we're all like moving so fast throughout All Star Weekend. We've been pulled and tagged on, and you know, you got to go here, you got to go there, you got to do this, you got to do that. That we don't always get an opportunity to kind of just like have many conversations. I've had a few over my career with a few guys, I won't name names, but, um, but no, no, that, that's only come up a few times in my career. Um, yeah. No, I'm, I don't want to say I'm surprised, but I mean, guys, they do their own, everyone has their own method of how they f feel they could create, you know, longevity in the sport and, and make sure that their body stays in the top tier shape to be a, I mean, they're all stars for a reason. Um, so they're doing something right. So I feel like guys have their own regimen and things of that nature, but um, <clears throat> I've never been, you know, a closed door when it comes to anything I've done in my career.
Well, I mean, every season has its own, own mental and physical challenges, um, and this is no different. Uh, no different. I mean, um, this is the most strange season I've been a part of so far, just with, um, you know, I'm going to just say, talk about the injuries, but like the COVID protocols and things of that nature, you've had guys go out for false positives. You've had guys go out for real reasons. Um, and back in, we've had our head coach be out for several games. We've had injuries. We've had a little bit of, a little bit of everything. I mean, I've been out, um, you know, at points in time of the season. So it's just been very challenging, very, uh, you know, physically and emotionally, emotional draining at times. But that's, that is the, that's the NBA season for you. And uh, if you're not, you know, having your mind set on that happening, then you're setting yourself up for failure. So I've always kind of known that's going to happen at some point throughout the season. Well, I'm, I love the way we've played the last few games. Um, I feel like after the all, I mean, at the all-star break, but the trade deadline, the energy shifted in our locker room. Um, and I love the way we've played the last couple games. Um, one resulted in a win, one resulted in a, in a you know, in a loss in the Bay. Um, but I hope we can just continue that same energy, that same connectivity. And uh, as a leader of the team, it's, you know, obviously it starts and ends with me. And, uh, you know, and we go from there. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I, I can't, I, I don't know. Um, just in a groove, I guess. Um, you know, I work on my game. I work on my craft. You guys see me when you come to practice and, you know, I'm working on, you know, my game or before the games or off days. I'm just always like trying to see ways I can continue to just stay in, in great rhythm and see ways I can continue to get better. Even at my age, I'm just not a guy that's satisfied, but I can't really explain the groove that I'm in right now offensively. Um, just, I guess just playing some good basketball, man, and just trying to be efficient. You know, besides the Golden State game the other night, I, I've been extremely efficient. And I, that's the most important for me. I'm not just out there, like, just jacking up a bunch of shots just to be doing it. You know, I want to be efficient when I'm doing it as well. Yeah, that's my only. Yeah, that's my. That's the, that's part of the motivation at this point. You know, I know it's been a, you know, hailstorm of a season for us so far. But you know, if I can get our group in the games, and um, all we can ask for is a chance. I'll, I'll pick two. Okay. Because uh, I love everything about his game, love everything about him. Um, the way he plays the game remind me of the way I play the game. We're just we're triple threats. Um, we rebound, we pass, which is the number one thing on our mind, trying to keep our teammates engaged and keep our teammates feeling good out on the floor, keeping our teammates in rhythm. And uh, and we'll put 40 on you, too, if you disrespect us. And the Absolutely. last question will be on second row, left side. Um, he's, uh, he's really, really, really good. Um, he has a, a great pace about the game, um, great vision. Um, I've always loved uh, pass first guards um, who can see plays happen before they happen. And, um, you know, Josh is one of those kids who can definitely see the game um, a lot quicker than a lot of guys out on the floor. And he's shown, I think he got like three straight triple doubles. Um, you know, just been playing uh, beautiful basketball. Um, but the MVP over there is Sam Preston. He the MVP. I mean, Josh Giddy is great. Sam Preston, I don't understand. This guy's eye for talent. He drafted KD, Russ, Jeff Green, Serge Ibaka, Reggie Jackson, um, Josh Giddy, 
and the list goes on and on and on. This guy's pretty damn good. I know you. Want, I know you want one. I give you one. I know. I'm back. I'm back home. I get it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, man, what? I, I just talking about like 25 years ago, man. When I was a kid, I was 12 years old. I was stating that earlier, and how, how like I wish like I had the means and the uh, ability to come up to Cleveland and just feel that energy, and hopefully bump into one of those guys. Um, Man, I had so many dreams of being an all-star when I was a kid growing up in Akron and having a, a, you know, a team that was 35 minutes north of us, you know, even though as much as I loved MJ and loved the Bulls, you know, just having that inspiration, having pro, pro teams right up to up 77 north, you know, and having the Browns and the Indians at the time now, you know, the Guardians and having, you know, the, the Cavaliers. I mean, I remember when they was playing, you know, <laughs> you know, not, not even I mean, a lot closer to in Richfield. Like, I remember that. And to, to sit here 25 years later, um, doing what I love to do, dreaming about what I love to do, believing in what I wanted to be, um, it, it's just unbelievable. I mean, Cleveland is, is very deserving of this, of this platform and this moment. I mean, they got two all-stars that they own and they game and DG and, and big fella, um, Jared Allen. I mean, and they got another guy, an all-star, and that's me. So, um, I don't know. It's great, man. I'm pushing P, capital P, you know? That's what I'm doing. Appreciate it. 